Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Tonight I'm gonna to be making the third and final soap in my fall line, and it's gonna be cranberry orange. So we're using the fragrance oil cranberry orange by Nature's Garden, and I have not carried this fragrance in my fall line before, but I've wanted to for a long time because cranberry orange is one of my favorite cranberry blends. Um, I've done cranberry pomegranate from Brambleberry, and I've done Another cranberry one that I can't think of off the top of my head, but I've never used cranberry orange. Um, there was an old candle company a long time ago named Illuminations that used to carry a cranberry orange candle. And to me, this is exactly what the fragrance oil smells like. It's got a cranberry, a tart cranberry notes and the citrusy orange notes, but then it's got some like mold spices, like um, it almost smells like a, kind of like mold wine or like a cinnamon and clove. Really, really good blend. So I can't wait to use this in the soap. And some of my patrons got to see um, the embeds that I created for this soap, which I'm also very excited about. So I can't wait to share that all with you guys today. So let's get to soap making. Okay, so before we get started, I also wanted to share with you that I'm using cranberry butter in this soap. Um, cranberry butter is a mixture of shea butter, palm butters, and jojoba oils. And it's got freeze-dried, crushed up cranberries in it. It does not have a cranberry fragrance to it, but it feels very luxurious, and I can't wait to use it in my cranberry orange soap. Okay, let's get started. You can see some of the speckles um, of the cranberry, freeze-dried cranberry in here. I'm just gonna blend it up and make sure they're all blended up in there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put the lye and water solution into the oils. And I'm gonna be bringing this just to emulsification. The first thing I'm gonna do is split off some of the top because we're gonna be doing a little bit of piping on the top. So I'm gonna reserve about About a cup, eight ounces. Oh, a little more than a cup, actually. Pour some back in. Well, actually, it's closer to 12 ounces, but I'm going to keep it because I'm going to do. I'm going to use a big piping tip, so I want to make sure I have enough. And then I'm going to split off some accent colors here. So this is going to be really red mica from Nurture Soap, and this one is going to be orange vibrance from Nurture Soap. And I think I'll do a little bit more. I am sitting right around, let's see. These handy pictures have measurements on them, so I'm sitting right around 400 milliliters. Tiny bit more in there. Okay, and then into this bucket, I'm gonna be putting in white. So I'm pouring in my white. I'm pouring in my red over here. I don't know if I need all that, so I'm gonna just stop right there. I'm pouring in some orange. I'm gonna pour about half my orange and see if I need more. Okay. I'm just gonna give this a hand stir. colors mixed in. Okay. 
Okay, probably do need a little bit more of the red and orange. Okay, I'm leaving about a quarter of my mixture in the container for now. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. Okay, now I'm gonna take my fragrance oil and I'm gonna divvy it up between these three. I may, put a, I may put a reserve a little bit for the piping as well. And again, we're just gonna go ahead and hand stir. That fragrance oil is pretty um, tinted orangey yellow and that's from probably the orange. I bet the orange is a has some essential oil in it. I'm just gonna give this a hand stir. I love this fragrance. It's really good. It's a really good fall fragrance. Um, but honestly, you could probably use it throughout the whole year. It would be a good year round fragrance. Smells beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move my spatulas and then we're gonna blend these up just to make sure everything's incorporated. Okay, we're just gonna do a drop swirl into the mold. So let's see, Hope, hopefully you can see. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and pour in all my white. Um, the white you can see is a little bit of a off color because of that fragrance oil, but I think it looks Pretty, so I'm not going to add any more titanium dioxide to that. Okay, I'm adding in all the white. I am going to use this fragrance in um, candles as well because it's just gorgeous. Okay. Let me get this evened out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take the red now. And we're just gonna do a drop. I didn't make it too red, I just made it like that because I don't, I really do like the really red mica a lot. But sometimes it can get too, um, it can get a little bit too pigmented. So I um, didn't want it real super pigmented in this soap. Okay, so then I'm just gonna take the orange and I'm gonna do the same thing. Whoopsie, whoa, some of that got right out of the mold. It's 
see if I can get that, some of that back in. I actually think I'm going to take a chopstick and just give it a, I'm going all the way down to the bottom of the mold and then giving it one swirl. I just want to make sure that orange is evenly kind of dispersed around. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the top colors. I'm gonna take that orange, and I'm gonna take that, um, I'm gonna take the red, and I'm gonna take the orange, and I'm just gonna kinda, this is, I don't know, maybe like quarter of a teaspoon, not even, maybe quarter to a, an eighth to a quarter of a teaspoon. Maybe closer to, on the orange one, half. Okay, here we go. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can scrape any leftover soap out of here. Still very fluid and easy to work with. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take my chopstick and I'm gonna create a figure eight design across the top just to kind of drag some of that mica drizzle and leftover soap through. That looks really pretty. I'm only putting my chopstick down about a quarter of an inch. Don't want to mess up the inside design. Wow, that looks really gorgeous. I'll try to give you a close up here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my piping. Um, I'll show you that process. I'll be right okay, back. Okay, we're back to prep the piping. I'm just gonna add in some titanium dioxide. And I'm gonna add a little bit of the fragrance oil. go. It's a nice and strong fragrance oil, so okay. Okay, we're going to go ahead and let that set up and I'll bring you right back when we're ready to pipe. All right, this piping is all set up and ready to go into the piping bag. This is about the consistency you're looking for, something that's going to kind of stick to the bottom of the spoon. And we're going to go ahead and fill up the piping bag. I can see the little speckles of um, freeze-dried cranberry in there. It looks cute.
Okay, I'm using a really big piping tip on this because I want to, um, I'm gonna be putting in some embeds and the em one of the embeds is pretty big, so I wanted to make sure it really stuck in there. So, I'll be showing you that in just a minute. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this back into the frame. So what I'm gonna do with the piping is I'm gonna put two dollops of piping right next to each other, all the way down. Okay, now for the embeds, a little bit more on there. Um, I made two separate embeds. The first thing I made were these beautiful orange slices. Um, they are made out of a mold that I got from vanulay.com and I'll link the description in the box. Um, the mold was made out of real uh, dried orange pieces so it looks super realistic and then I went ahead and dusted it with some uh, shimmer gold mica and orange vibrance mica so I'm a little nervous actually to see how this is going to turn out but I think I'm going to go ahead and put my orange slice here I may or may not have room for the other piece so we're going to go ahead and give that a try yeah it actually looks like I'm not going to have space for both of the embeds that I made um, which I thought that might be the case coming in. See, I made these other little ones right here for the cranberry pieces, but I'm not sure exactly if I'm gonna have room for them. I can give it a try. Well, maybe. There, we'll try that. I'm just having to put the orange slice um, very close to the edge, and it's kind of separating the piping a little bit, so. I may have to come back in and scoop that back together. So all I'm gonna do is go back in. Okay, I think I'm gonna move you to this angle so you can see how that looks from my vantage point. So cute. Okay, so then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab my piping bag and try to fill in some of those little gaps that were created. They don't all have them, but Now the pipe tip is too big. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. I don't know. You probably can't see what I'm doing here, but I'm just some of these gaps. Okay, these actually look good. I'm going to leave those alone. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my, um, I got some cranberry seeds. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some cranberry seeds right on top. Um, how do I wanna do that? I'll go ahead and scoop them with a spoon. Okay. 
I'm putting some cranberry seeds right on top of the white piping. Okay. They're getting everywhere, that's okay. And then I'm gonna get some whiplash gold, I mean whiplash red. And I'm gonna sprinkle some red glitter on with a makeup brush. So the whiplash is so pretty. I'm just gonna do a little bit. That's what I put on top of those um, red, the red cranberry embed. So just put a little bit on the makeup brush. And I'm just gonna dust it around. Oh, that looks so pretty. This looks like a very festive soap. Perfect for fall. Okay, friends, that is the making of cranberry orange, cold process soap. I'll bring you in for a close-up. Okay, here's the top of the soap. I cannot wait to cut into it to see what that swirl looks like. Again, this recipe will be available on my Patreon page along with a written tutorial. Thanks so much to all the patrons who have already come in and pledged. It means so much to me. I hope you're getting a lot out of it. All right, guys, stay tuned for the cutting. Hi, everybody, we're back to go ahead and cut the soap. I did go ahead and cut off the first piece because I realized um, I should have put the embed in the other way because this is the end piece. So the back side actually got the good swirl. So anyway, I went ahead and cut that off camera. So I'll go ahead and show you the rest of what that looks like. I thought that turned out really cute. There's the back. The back swirl looks really pretty, but the, you see the orange is not two-sided, so this will be the front of the soap. Still really pretty.
And there you go. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. Catch you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching.